Hey everyone, welcome back. So today will be part four of my solid objects tutorial in AutoCAD 2015. Today we will be looking at the dodecahedron, almost a ball made out of pentagons. Here's my previ a previous example so we can get an idea of what the end result might look like. Now let's get it started. Can now get rid of this. As you, as you can see, once again, my layers are already all set up here. And now let's start with the dodecahedron. First things first, let's let's place a polygon. Give it five sides. E for edge, and then give it the coordinates: zero comma zero and one comma zero. Hmm. Let's give it a bit of filling. Select region, select your face. There, that's better. Now, I'm just going to make a circle with three points. We're not going to use this uh, immediately yet. A bit later on in the in the tutorial. I just I just wanted to keep it there so I won't f f forget to make it later. Now let's make a mirror of this face. So like this edge and that edge there, and then repeat the command again, yet to this side. Always keep your source object. Now, how to make the uh, angle between the uh, pentagons in, in order to create that sphere-like shape? First, let's make some X lines. One from here to here. And then one from there to, well, there I guess, enter. Now, we need, we need to make two lines that, that will help us to create the uh, rotation. These lines must be perpendicular with our X lines. So we, so we will start with this vertex here and connect it to the... There, right, uh, right there, where it's perpendicular to the X line. And then repeat the method like that. Enter. Nice. Okay. Hmm. Now, in order to uh, make the uh, s the two circles that 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 will help <clears throat> that will help both faces join, we need to use our UCX axis. Place it here. Place it there, and then make the command to determine our Z axis. Or yeah, like that. Select circle. Use the axis as your center point and then push it all the way to this side vertex. Now place UCX, place enter double time. So uh, it will activate the, wor the world preset and go back to its previous position. Select UCS again and repeat the process over here. 0, 0, 100. Once again, the last part does not have to, to be 100. You can use a thousand, a million, maybe even 50. And now let's make the other circle. Once again, from the center of the axis all the way to the side vertex. Now, as you can see, our two circles create an intersection. And it, it'll be that, in, that intersection that we will use to join the, uh, these two faces with that precise angle. So let's make an align, select this face, and then press this vertex twice, this vertex twice, and then this vertex and connect it up here to the intersection. Oh. Hmm. It came out wrong. Always remember to make sure you have an extremely and uh, perfectly pointed al alignment. Let's try that again. Select the face. Make sure you're selecting this point here. Then select it again. And on this side, close it up. 
Select it once and then twice. And now we can align. Let's see if it came out right this time. Mm -hmm. Yep, looking good. Good, okay. Now let's take the time to re realign our RUC axis, axis with the world preset. Now, instead of pushing this this face up, which I know it will, it will work, let's speed up this tutorial by making a polar array of this face here. So let's get rid of, the, of everything else. And now it's in this part where this circle here that I made before will, will, will come in handy. So let, let's make an, an array classic. Pol, polar array. Five, five items. Let's select our face. And now this circle here comes in handy because I need to use a reference point to make my polar rotation. So we will specify it on screen the center of the circle and now if all goes right yeah everything's in position click OK and now you have this flower like um, vase I guess looks good for design we can now get rid of our circle and now we need to make the top half of this do of this dodecahedron I know many ways of doing this, I'm just going to show you the uh, simplest way. So just select this, then copy it, place it about here. And now using the align command, we're going to basically flip this over and then place it here. So let's make a line, select all these uh, six faces basically the second vase, press enter and then uh, the trick to make sure this comes out right is to select a deeper vertex and connect it to a top vertex then a top vertex and connect it to the uh, to a deeper vertex and then once again select a deeper vertex and connect it to the to a top vertex and well, as you can see, our dodecahedron is now finished. Let's make it a bit more realistic. Let's see, uh, shaded. Give it a bit more of a perspective view. Yeah, and there you have it. A perfectly shaped dodecahedron. I hope this tutorial has been useful, and I'll see you next time.